the levels with continuing reduction in the second half of the of this century this is only the rate of GHG emissions that matters but also the uh, the accommodation over time uh, potentially for a long level gas such as carbon dioxide CO2 once once our actions have raised concentrations of CO2 in the, in the atmosphere levels will remain ele elevated for more than a thousand years right. someone says some of the peers can say, oh shit. Anyway, uh, anyway uh, the critical role uh, played by the uh, cumulative emissions of CO2 means that the later global emissions peak, the more rapid the evol uh, eventual decline would have to be, which, which would likely cause economic and social di disruption across the globe. The EMS statement on how the uh, on, on how is the climate changing. Uh, cha um, changing is uh, um, climate is changing in many ways. Global mean temperatures have been rising, rising rising uh, steadily over the last 40 years with the six warmest years since 1860 occurring in the last decade we uh, originally the warming trend is greatest in in north and latitudes over land and at night decreases in Arctic sea ice have been observed. Most studies indicate that ice loss has, has recently recently um, accumulated at the margins of Greenland, uh, margins of Greenland, and the West Antarctic ice sheet, whereas the East Antarctic ice sheet. And the Greenland interior appeared to be gaining gaining mass. In the U.S., most of the observed warming has occurred in the in the West and in Alaska. However, however, there are regional variations in the signature of climate change, with warming in the West U.S. but little or no annual temperature change in the southeast US in recent decades. Temperature rises have um, significant hydrologic effects. Freezing levels are rising in eva elevation. Rain occurs instead of snow at mid-elevation. Spring maximum snow peak is decreased. Snow melt occurs early, and the spring runoff that su uh, supplies over two thirds of the western U.S. snowflow is reduced. Evidence, evidence even for warming, is also observed in seasonal changes with early springs, longer frost-free periods, and longer growing seasons and shifts in natural habitats in, and in migrational patterns of birds uh, uh, sea levels are generally rising around the world and glaciers are generally retreating, retreating. a component a component of sea level rise is attributed to expansions expansions due to a long term increase in ocean heat content. The uh, the impact of even small rises in sea level on coastal zones are expected to be severe. Uh, particularly in <coughs> 
<coughs> particularly in conduction with storm surges is um, associated with vagrous uh, weather seed systems. <coughs> in an analysis of the past 1.2 million years, UC Santa Barbara geologist uh, Lorena Lissicki discovered a pattern that, <coughs> that connects the regular changes of Earth's orbit uh, cycle to changes in, in Earth's climate. Lorena performed her analysis of climate uh, by examining ocean sedi sediment cores. These cores come from 57 locations around the world. By analysing sediment, scientists are able to chart Earth's climate for millions of years in the past. Lorena's uh, contribution is the linked, uh, linking of the climate record up to the history of Earth's orbit. It is known that that Earth's orbit around the Sun changes shape every, every hundred thousand years. <coughs> the orbit becomes either more round or more elliptical at these intervals. Then the uh, shape of the orbit is known as its eccentricity. A related aspect is that 41,000 year cycle in the tail of the of Earth's axis, uh, glaciation uh, of Earth's of Earth also occurs every 300,000 years. Uh, Lissicky found that that the timing of time of changes in climate and asymptoty considered co considered considered uh, the clear co uh, correlation between the timing of the change and change in the orbit and the change of the Earth's climate is strong evidence of a link between the two, said Lissy FG. It is unlikely that these events will not be related to one another. But besides finding a link between cha changes in the shape of the orbit and the, the on, and the onset of glaciation, Lissy Ecchi Ecchi found a surprising conclusion. She decided that and uh, no, not. That decided, uh, she discovered even that the large uh, glacial circles uh, occurred during the weakest, weakest changes in the uh, eccentricity of Earth's orbit, uh, and vice versa. She found that the stra uh, stronger changes in Earth's orbit correlated to uh, to weaker changes in climate. This may mean that the Earth's climate has internal as internal in instability in addition to sensitivity to chi China's uh, changes. Um, no, it's not working today. Uh, in, in, who cares? In, in the orbit, the uh, changes in the orbit. So, to, uh, this is key. This is key. The key. And she concludes that the pattern of climate change over the past millions of years likely involves complete conflicted inter interaction between different parts of the climate cycle as well as three as three different orbital systems. The first two orbital systems are the orbit accentricity and tilt and the third is proce procession or a, or, or a change 
in the irritation of the uh, rotation axis. Um, well, the NSF says, uh, or also says, on a matter is ecologists have noticed and marked changes in the habitat habitat of the species they studied. Uh, they studied changes in the, in the places where they fa find a persist. A particular species changes in the dates plants first sprout and bloom, changes in the plant growth rate, and even signs of evolution adaptation brought on by a warming climate. Ocean scientists have um, often have uh, ocean scientists have recorded high temperatures and raising ocean acidity which which alter the um, characteristics of the most fundamental organisms of the ocean food chain. There are coral reefs, some of which have thrived for centuries, have died off suddenly as a result of ocean temperatures. Is that um, exceed the coral's ability, ability to survive. Polar scientists have watched a vast tract of Arctic sea ice melt away, leaving behind more open water than anyone can remember seeing during any previous northern hemisphere summer. summer. Uh, glaciologists have witnessed ice uh, shells was thought too too large to be influenced by anything sort of cataclysmic envi uh, environmental change. Wake up, uh, wake up into a, a choking sea of icebergs in a matter of days. Uh, social scientists have rec recorded that the uh, bewilderment of indigenous people, their crit uh, culture knowledge which stretches back in time through uh, numerous generations holds no record of the kinds of environmental changes they encountered they are encountering today. Okay. Well, how do you uh, leave with that? links down below and I would like to hear what you have to say on the matter so, so in a response or comment or whatever and so until next time laters